Hello YouTube, this is me again doing a test here. Uh, basically what I want to do here is I want to do kind of a practical test end-to-end -end, um, where the solar panel is connected to a charge controller and the charge controller is connected to a battery and the battery has some actual load to it. So, um, with that said, let me describe how I'm going to generate load over here. Let me just move this chair. So what I've got here is, there's the battery, the marine battery. It is a, I think it's a 75 amp hour, yeah. It is a 75 amp hour. Uh, the battery is May 2011, so today's date is September 1, 2017, so it's almost six years old. Um, yeah, getting back to the load. So, without going into much details, these are, these are batteries. I've got them connected in parallel um, for those into RC, radio control hobby. You probably already know what these are. These are lithium polymer batteries, also known as LiPo. Um, these particular batteries are three cells a piece. Um, they are 2100 milliamps each, except this one. This one's a 2200 milliamps. So those are connected in parallel to this charger. This charger needs 12 volts to operate and it's connected to the marine battery over here, as you can see. So the nice thing about this charger is you can set a variable amount of our charging rate. So it's not charging at the moment, but when it is gonna charge, I've got it set to six amps. So it, it will take six amps from the marine battery. So it's gonna that's what's gonna give it the load. So it's gonna put a load, a six amp load on this battery. So let's see if I can check what the current uh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this is the volts, the volts in. So this battery is this marine battery is currently set as is currently at 12.85 volts. These other batteries here are currently at 11.47. So they are in need of a charge. And this thing is going to send six amps down here into these batteries all in parallel at the same time. So that's my load. And then over here, I've got the charge controller, which happens to be a Renogy Wanderer. It's a 30 amp charge controller. And then I've got the 100 watt energy panel right here it, and I kind of have it facing towards the Sun but that's not the, the big purpose of this test the test the purpose of this video is I kind of just want to see I want to see the amps transferred from the solar panel to the marine battery. I want to I want to witness that flow. So yeah, it is off. The sun keeps moving on me since I first prepared this. So with that said, I will go ahead and show you the details of the specifications of the solar panel.
and the current air temperature is 87 degrees I mean 86 degrees it is 2:17 p.m. September 1 2017 so uh, before I begin the test there's a couple of pre-tests I'm kind of gonna do here I've got two meters here hooked up this one is hooked up directly via alligator clips to the solar panel and this one is just has the clamp clamp meter so as soon as I I've got this set to amps right now so as soon as I plug this guy in we're gonna see the amps of the, um, the solar panel and at the same time we'll see it over there and this is just to show that more or less these two meters should read the same, should have the same reading. So I'm plugging it in. Got 5.76. So it won't be precisely the same, but for the most part, it's kind of there. This one's reading 5.78. This one's reading 5.86. Eight seven. It's moving. Okay, so let me disconnect this. So now that that, now that I've shown that, I'm gonna disconnect this one from here. And I'm gonna put it on the charge controller side of things, which is here. So the panel is not connected at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to connect it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, but before I do that, I might as well check the volts on this thing. Volts. Let's do back to amps again. Five point seven seven. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect that. So I am going to connect the solar panel to the charge controller. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Um, before I do that, I don't know if you've already seen the cables. These are 10 gauge cables and it's going around over here. And that's what I'll be connecting to the solar panel. in it's in it didn't snap but it's in so I expect the PV light on this thing to be on. The PV light is blinking. I guess in the camera it looks like they're all blinking, but they're not. This one's solid. This one's solid. This one's blinking. There's no load currently on this uh, marine battery. But there is some amps going in there. There's 2.3 amps according to this. So what I want to see is I want to see, you know, something close to 6 amps. 
you know, 5.7 or 5.5, something like that, as soon as I turn this thing on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Before I do that, let's go ahead and, I'm gonna put this on the load side so we can confirm that six amps is being drawn from the battery, from the marine battery. All right. So I'm gonna press start on this guy. Oh, the volts is already going up because that charge controller is control, uh, charging it. So it's at 14. So I'm gonna press start on this guy. This will slowly ramp up to six amps. Six amps. And this meter says something similar. Five point four whatever. Four six. So according to this, it's pulling six amps. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the charge controller, see what's coming out, what's going in to the marine battery rather. Lo and behold, there it is, 5.82, nice. Now just for another test here, let's um, stop this, I'm going to kick this up to 7 amps. Uh, we'll do 6.5. No, we'll do 7. Do that right there. All right. Get that rolling. Get this battery check. Let's see if we can wash these. Seven amps. The fan kicked on. This charger. So 5.8. So it looks like. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. 5.8. Nice. So I'm going to take this guy off. So again, so the charger is pushing those amps into this battery. And this guy is pulling from the marine battery. Yeah. Six amps. Close to seven. Put this back over here. Uh, what happened? Oh, that's strange. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I stopped it. Yeah. Yeah, what I meant to do is I wanted to see this. I wanted to see the that guy. Let's get out of there. Let's run this again. Okay. Ramp up the amps. And I'm expecting these guys to ramp up as well. There you go, 7 amps. And the Wanderer, the Solar Piano, is putting out 5.8 amps, which is nice. That's nice. So I hope this video was uh, useful for someone. I mean, I like to run these little tests for myself just to see things and also share them. Let's see what the 
still at 84. And the sun, let's take a look at that. There it is. Let's see if this is still pumping out. Yep, 5.8, still going strong. There it is, thanks for watching.